Greetings. This is a meditation that I created, or at least I think I did, and I have been using for many years. I have shared it with private clients. I have shared it in seminars. I have shared it on online programs, online workshops, and it allows people to just remove every excuse to not meditate and to make it as easy as possible to meditate rather than wondering what do I do, what do I focus on and still to this day I leverage and use this meditation. Uh, many times it could be I get into my car and I feel electricity to, through my body because old habits die hard and I was busy for most of my life. So sometimes I get caught up into that super busyness and then I feel it in my body. And it's not a place I generally like to live anymore. Uh, even as a professional fighter and athlete, when I train immediately after uh, training, I meditate. I'm probably the only person out of thousands of people in my gym that sits on the mat and just meditates and brings myself back to calm. Uh, this is my home now. I love to be here. And uh, actually, <laughs> it has allowed me to make a lot of very difficult decisions in my life to remind myself that if it doesn't bring me calm and peace uh, it's not something I'm willing to tolerate and what allows me to come back home every time is this meditation that I created and it's so simple it's called 1101 some of you now are going oh yeah I've done it with you before I've sat with you before or I've taken it from you and I use it myself uh, but if not or even if you do already know it feel free to join me in this meditation so in meditation a couple of things that are really important is whether you are doing a walking meditation a lying down meditation or a sitting meditation your spine is straight as straight as possible now what's good about this kind of principle or rule is every time you recognize without judgment that your spine isn't straight or you're slouching over or whatever you just oh, come from your awareness without judgment and you bring yourself back to that place of your spine being as erect as possible that's number one number two the foundation for every meditation in the world is breath that's it so forget mantras, forget visualizations, forget sounds, forget what you're going to focus on or not focus on or how you're going to bring yourself back. Just breathe. That is it. And bring your attention to the inhalation and the exhalation. That's it. If you can sit, stand or walk with your spine as erect as possible, so you're in the work, you're not lazy, and you don't have bad posture, you're in the best energy that you can have, and then you focus on your inhalation and your exhalation, you are meditating. So the reason why I created 1101 is because it brings a framework to this. At the bottom of every exhalation, count from one all the way up to 10, and then when you get to the top, as you uh, count, as you continue to breathe in and breathe out, at the every at the exhalation, every exhalation, you count down. So from one to ten, ten to one. Now, I pretty much like nine days out of ten, maybe even nineteen out of twenty, I do this meditation or breathing exercise, if you want to call it that mindful breathing exercise before I get out of bed because just because we have woken up it doesn't mean that we are in the best place to start our day 
Maybe this is you. The second you wake up, you start thinking about the third project, the fourth project, who you need to serve, your kids downstairs, your partner, whatever. That is not the best way to start your day because that means that every single thought that you're having is in control of who you're being in that moment. So I allow myself to go from thinking to being by practicing 1101 and not allowing myself to get out of bed until I have successfully counted from 1 to 10 back down to 1 and maybe even do 2 or 3 sets doing those spiritual repetitions. Sometimes one set isn't enough. Sometimes you want you feel you know what, I need to do it again. I need to even do it a third time. Oh, that felt so good. Let me do it a fourth time. One to 10, back down to one. Now, here's the challenge for you. And once again, meditation isn't about judging your observations or your failures, or every time you drift away, it's just about witnessing and seeing how in control you are of the puppy versus the puppy being in control of you, the puppy being your mind. So the challenge for you is you don't allow yourself to get up from your meditation until you have successfully counted from one to 10 without losing your count and from 10 to one. If you find yourself going inhalation, exhalation one, breathe in, breathe out two, inhale, exhale three, and you get to five, six. And next thing you know, you're thinking about something that is not your meditation, or that is not here inside this moment. Then you just go, oh my gosh, I've just realized I stopped counting. So whenever you have that realization, that moment of awareness that you are no longer counting, therefore you are no longer here and now, you just start again. And sometimes you might have to start six, seven, ten times. You'll be surprised. Sometimes you might be so in your head that it takes you ten attempts to be so focused on just getting yourself from one to 10 without interruption. So without further ado, spine as straight as possible, focusing only on breathing in and breathing out. Using my voice as a guide, this is your space, your meditative practice, go at your own pace at your own speed, breathing in and breathing out. And as we do this meditation from start to finish, with every inhalation, breathe in everything that makes you feel full, rested, energized, harmonious and at peace. And with every exhalation, breathe out everything that doesn't serve you here and now. Breathing in to the top of your lungs, expanding the muscles and your rib cage to open up your lungs to access that untapped potential, the corners of your lungs, each and every corner, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, all the way and breathing out, letting go, surrendering, relaxing, 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 getting out all that stale air, breathe it out, let it go. And now it's continuing at your own pace, but using my voice as a guide. We're going to start with 110. One. Breathing in. And breathing out. One. All the way in. And all the way out. Two. 
to. Breathing in. Breathing in as much air as you can, but relaxing your body, relaxing your joints, all the way in. And breathing out. Three. And now continuing on your own, all the way to 10. And when you reach 10, all the way back to one. you've successfully <clears throat> if you've successfully climbed from 1 to 10 and back down to 1 thank yourself for sitting here in this meditation and either continue to sit with yourself the greatest meeting you will ever have or continue on your day And if because of distractions and losing the single point of focus, which is to stay with your breath, for some reason you haven't reached 10 and back down to 1, 
then continue with your own practice.